Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in C programming. That is uh, how to define a constant. Defining a constant. So first of all, let us see what are the different constants and what is a constant. So a constant is an identifier or a variable whose value cannot be changed, cannot be changed. So once a value is initialized to a constant, we can't change that particular value. For example, some a is equal to 10. If you consider this as a constant, if you consider this as a constant, so one memory will be allocated for this particular variable a and some 10 will be stored in that particular variable. Now we can't change this value, right? So we can use this value in the expression, but we can't update the value. For example, a some b is equal to a plus 2 is a possible. That means we are using a constant in the expression, but a is equal to a plus 10. What it means? So whatever the value we are having in a that will be added to 10 and the complete result will be stored in a itself so here we have declared a as a constant so we can't change the value of a right so here we are updating the a value that is not possible in the constant right so but we can make use of that particular constant in any expression in any expression right so this is the difference i mean this is the definition of a constant now in C programming, we are having a lot of constants. So mainly they are ca classified into two categories. So constants. So two categories. One is primary constants. Another one is secondary constants. So coming to the secondary constants. So we are having uh, arrays structures, unions, pointers, enumerated data types, all these comes under the secondary constant, secondary constants. What are the primary constants? So these primary constants are again divided into integer constants as well as character constants, character constants. So coming to the integer again, these are so integer constants and float constants. Okay, and character again, this is single character constant, single character constant, similarly, string constant. String constant and the third category backslash constants backslash constants see integer constants so are nothing but an integer data type which are of integer data type and a float constants so again these integer the integer constants will, will be also classified into hexadecimal constants octal consummate constants etc etc but mainly we are going to use this integer constants and the float constants and coming to the character constants a single character constant and a string constant string means a group of characters right and backslash constants we have seen a different backslash constants like a slash n slash t okay slash v slash quotations slash double quotations du double slash all these are the different backslash constants right so all these comes under the constants now how to define a constant in a c program how to define a constant see defining a constant is done in two ways in c programming
defining constants. So this is done in two ways. So this is the first way and this is the second way. First way by using CONST keyword while declaring a variable or while declaring a uh, variable if you declare any variable by using this CONST keyword that particular variable will be considered as a constant so we can change we, we can uh, use that variable in the expression but we can't update the variable value right so that is a const keyword and the second one by using preprocessor directives preprocessor directives so these are the preprocessor directives are the statements which begins with a hash symbol okay so which begins with hash so example in our program we are using hash include uh, stdio.h in order to include the library files header files we are going to use the hash similarly here we will define a constant by using hash define define the constant okay and a value constant and a value so by using this one also we can simply by using the constant we can define the constants okay hash defined by using the hash define we can define the constants here also by const keyword we, we are going to use the constants right see so uh, i will show the same thing in the compiler right we'll open the compiler and we'll see how to define a constant by using the const keyword and how to define a constant by using hash define and what exactly the constant means if, if any variable is declared as a constant so whether we can change the value or we cannot change the value so i will demonstrate everything in the compiler so let's move on to the c compiler hello friends so just now we have seen the theoretical part of a constant and now i will demonstrate by using a program so let us take the empty file let us start so first include the header files so include std i h input and output now we'll define a constant by using hash define first so hash define and give the constant name let us take some n space give the value here so let us take it here 10 so if you take the 10 as a value automatically n will be considered as an integer constant okay now write down the main function so let us try to print that uh, particular constant inside the main function so print constant n is percentage d followed by n and simply you can execute this one first uh, see let us execute this one so we got constant n is 10 so how can we say that n is a constant so let us see n is equal to n plus 1 i am updating just i am updating the value right and simply after that print the value print the value right so after updating constant n right so now let us execute this one so you you can observe here there is an error here so see l value required as a left operand of assignment so n is a constant so we can't update the value for example for example let us put this one as a comment and declare int n is equal to 10 so this will be the variable right this will be the variable now you can execute so obviously we'll get the data so constant n is equal to 10 and 11 okay that means if it is a variable we can change the value of a variable and we can update the variable but if you are defining a constant then it is not possible to update the value right it is not possible to update the value now this is one way to define a constant so this is the defining constant by using preprocessor directives so this line and if you want to define a constant inside the main function simply you can use const keyword c o n s t const int n is equal to 10 here also we can see this is also a constant definition right so this is also defining 
constant. So the difference is here we are using the preprocessor directive to define a constant and this one we are using some CONST keyword to define a constant. See if you execute this one. So save this one first and let me execute this one. See we got some error. Okay. So let us close this one and execute. See we got again the error. Assignment of read only variable n. So this is only read only that means we can't update the value we can't write the value into the particular n and also you can update this one right see for example a int a right now you can see if you print the a value value of a is percentage d a now if you if you execute this one this will be possible see constant n is 10 and value of a is 11 so this is possible because we can make use of the constant inside the expression we can make use of this constant inside the expression but we can't update the value so here we are trying to update the n value right so that is not possible because it's a read only variable because of const keyword so not only the this one so the syntax will be the constant data type followed by the variable is equal to value so whatever the variables we are declaring by using the cnst will be considered as a read only variables that we call it as a constants right so hope you understood how to define the constants so two ways one is by using the preprocessor directive another one is by using the cnst keyword right so i will stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this defining a constant so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.